is Spider-Man 4 actually happening? I mean, is it? It's the question that like every Spider-Man fan wants to know right now. Right. And you've probably been digging through articles just like me trying to find the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, let's be real. Some of those headlines have been a wild ride, a little crazy. For sure. It's a good thing we can just cut through all that noise and go straight to the source. Exactly. Tom Holland himself on the Rich Roll podcast. The man himself. So I can forget the rumors. We want to hear it from Spider-Man, right? Absolutely. And Based on what Holland said on the podcast, he is definitely ready to put that suit back on. Like, yeah. he told Rich Roll that reading the script for Spider-Man 4 okay. lit a fire in him. He That's even so got Zendaya excited about it. Wow. Which, if you know Zendaya, right? she's always cool and collected. So that yeah. must have been something really special. For sure, for sure. To get her bouncing around the living room. It's worth remembering actors have obligations to, you know, promote their projects. Oh, yeah. For sure. But this does feel different. It does. It really does. Yeah. Holland seems like he is really personally invested in making this movie amazing. Like he was talking about mm -hmm. created integrity and doing justice mm -hmm. to Spider-Man and to the fans. And that yeah. that's not just like a PR person telling him what to say. Right. It felt like he was speaking from the heart. Yeah. It felt like a mission statement. Yeah. Like, this is important. I need to make this happen. This matters. Yeah. And it made me think, like, this isn't the same Tom Holland from Civil War. Right. Like, He's not a kid anymore. Yeah. This is a different Tom Holland. Yeah. This is someone who's very aware of, you know, his position in the MCU. Absolutely. He even mentioned that he talked to Robert Downey Jr. Oh, wow. About it. So he's getting advice from Iron Man himself. Yeah, Iron Man. Yeah. About how to navigate this massive franchise. Which is fascinating. When you think about it, you've got these huge stars, right? Yeah. I mean, global icons. Yeah. But they're also part of this massive machine yeah. that is the MCU. Yeah. And they have to kind of balance their own artistic vision with what the MCU needs. Right. For the larger story. And that tension between what Holland wants and what the MCU needs is kind of perfectly summed up in something else that he said. He said that Spider-Man is a small cog in a large machine. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What does that even mean for Spider-Man 4? Oh, right. Like, what role will Spider-Man even play in this huge multiverse saga? What does that even mean for a solo Spider-Man movie? I mean, right? that's the big question, right? Yeah. On the one hand, you have fans and maybe even Holland himself who... Love to see Spider-Man doing his thing in New York, you know, right. like just swinging around fighting everyday bad guys. Yeah, like the classic friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Exactly. There's just something so yeah. relatable about that. Oh, for sure. But then, on the other hand... The MCU is going in a very different direction. Right, with this whole multiverse saga thing. Yeah, like it's all about huge stakes. Yeah, like galactic level threats. Exactly. How do you go from stopping bank robbers right. to fighting King the Conqueror? Right. Like, how do you even fit those two things together? What do you think? Well, one thing that Holland mentioned that I thought was really interesting was that okay. he said that he wants to mentor a young Miles Morales in this movie. Oh, yeah. He said that. Like, passing the torch to Miles. That would be incredible. Right. I mean, and Everyone's been dying to see Miles in the MCU properly. And what better way to do it? I know. Have him team up with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. That would be amazing. And it really shows you that Holland's thinking about the future of Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Like, he's not just thinking about this one movie. Right. He's thinking about the legacy of the character. Yeah, like he wants to make sure Spider-Man is still swinging around for years to come. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine the stories they could tell. Yeah. Like an oh. older, more experienced Spidey showing a brand new Spider-Man <laughs> the ropes. That would be... It'd be so cool. Oh, cool. So many possibilities. I know. So much potential. It's exciting. It's a lot to think about. Yeah. Especially because Marvel hasn't actually said anything about Miles being in this movie. It's true. So far, it's just Holland's hopes. Yeah. But hey, a fan can dream. Right. Speaking of things we don't know yet. Okay. Any news on when this movie might actually come out? That is the million dollar question. Right. And unfortunately, yeah. we don't have a release date yet. So what's the holdup? I mean, there are a few things going on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's the deal? Why is it all taking so long? Well, for one thing, Holland is a busy guy. True. He's got a lot of other projects he's working on. Yeah. And then there's that whole writer strike thing. Right. That definitely hasn't helped speed things up. Yeah. And on top of all that, mm -hmm. you know, Marvel's got that big old release schedule that they stick to. Right. That's true. Marvel doesn't just like throw a new Spider-Man movie on the calendar. 
No. Whenever they feel like everything's it. planned out way in advance. Yeah, they got like phases and stuff. But even though we don't have a date yet, it does feel like there's some serious energy behind this movie. Oh, for sure. I mean, Holland even said himself that they're working pedal to the metal to get it made. Yeah, he did say that. So it makes me think that he's really committed to this, which brings us back to like Googling. we talked about how passionate he is about the character and how hey, he, he wants to do right by the fans. And now yes. it feels like Marvel's got this like responsibility to really bring their A game. They do. To make a movie that's worthy of that dedication. I mean, Holland's bringing it. So right. Marvel has to as well. Yeah. It's like a promise has been made to the fans. And Marvel needs to deliver on that promise. Exactly. Which makes you wonder, can they even pull that off? Right. Can a superhero movie, especially these days, be like a really personal story and yeah. still fit into this huge, crazy multiverse thing? Can you have both? Yeah, can you have both? That's a tough thing to pull off. I think it, it's like walking a tightrope. But that's part of the fun, right? All this like speculating and theorizing and analyzing. It's all part of the experience. It is until we actually get to see the movie. Right. And based on everything we've talked about today, yeah. it sounds like this new Spider-Man movie is going to be worth the wait. I think so, too. Holland's excitement is, like, really contagious. Oh, yeah. It gives me hope that Spider-Man 4 will be amazing, and it'll be a movie that, like, really respects Spider-Man and yeah. makes the fans happy, but also surprises us you know like we don't want the same thing over and over again right so until that day comes when we can finally see it yes the big question still hangs in the air in a world with all these connected universes and crossovers yeah can one hero's story still actually matter right it's something to think about as we wait for spider-man to swing back onto our screens couldn't have said it better myself and that's our deep dive into everything spider-man spider-man let us know what you think. We'll be back next week with another deep dive into the latest movie news and rumors. See you then.